Hey hey gamers, welcome back to my channel. Today we've got something special for you, my top picks for the ga best games of 2023. A celebration that the channel has reached 1000 subscribers and to close off the year of 2023 in the best way possible. From iconic franchises to new releases, we've got a diverse lineup that's sure to keep you glued to your screens. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Kicking off the list, we have our beloved plumber himself in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. This new installment takes the classic formula we all know and love and adds a refreshing twist. The levels are vibrant, the power-ups are exciting, and the gameplay is as addictive as ever. I very much enjoyed all the new additions, as you can see in my review video on the game. Next up, a title that needs no introduction, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. The breathtaking world, intricate puzzles and captivating storyline make it a standout in the series. I don't really have one specific part of the game that I adore most, since almost all of the game was just so good. I did honestly really just enjoy running around and doing whatever. What a journey. Now let's talk about the charming strategy game Pikmin 4. Managing everyone's favorite little creatures in a lush environment is both challenging and still rewarding. The game introduces new Pikmin types and other innovative mechanics, like for example Ochi, everyone's favorite rescue dog. It truly added a lot of depth to the Pikmin experience, even though at first I wasn't a huge fan of Ochi, but he did ma manage to grow on me. Shifting gears to the gritty streets of Japan, we have Yakuza Kiwami 1 and 2. These remakes not only bring the classic Yakuza tales to modern platforms, but also enhance the graphics and gameplay. The intense storytelling and over-the-top combat are a couple of reasons why I just couldn't put the controller down while playing it. Personally, I preferred Kiwami 2 since it just felt so smooth to play. Genuinely top-tier games. Now, let's talk about something fresh and unique, Neon White. This fast-paced, card-based shooter provides a gaming experience like no other. The stylish visuals and challenging levels kept me on the edge of my seat constantly. I particularly enjoyed the movement in this game, especially as the adrenaline junkie I am. Movement in games is always a huge plus, and Neon White took that to a whole new level. While on the topic of movement in games, we have Titanfall 2. Even though it's not a new release, it's worth mentioning for its timeless appeal. The fluid movement, intense multiplayer battles, and very engaging single-player campaign make it a must-play for any shooter fan. I bought it on sale quite recently, and regret not having played it earlier. Now, let's lighten the mood with some lightning-fast micro-games in WarioWare Move It, the latest game in the WarioWare series. The Warrior series is typically known for its wacky and fast-paced minigames, and this installment takes it to a whole new level. I love it. It has so much resemblance to smooth moves on the Wii, and it manages to capture the same feeling of that game. Playing this together with people is an amazing experience, one that I truly recommend. Next up, we dive into the world of Pokemon with Pokemon Scarlet. The new Pokemon, expansive region, and exciting battles make it a fantastic addition to the franchise. And of course, with the D DLC coming out these this year, it brings way more content and way more areas to explore. I can't wait to see what they have in store for the second wave of the DLC, since I enjoyed the first one a lot. Zooming onto the list, we have a new DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The game is already a fan favorite since 2014, and additional content keeps the adrenaline pumping. The new tracks and characters like Peter Piranha and the new Mii costumes breathe new life into the racing experience. If you want to see all the costumes, I actually made a video on those. Venturing into the realm of the unusual, we have Guild of the Lamb. This indie gem offers a unique blend of dungeon crawling and management simulation. The art style and quirky premise had me hooked from the start. It's definitely a game worth checking out for those looking into something different. Coming up next, we have Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Kirby returns to back to Dreamland once again after a 12 year break. The game is a delightful platformer with charming visuals and creative level design. I particularly enjoyed all the memories from playing this game on the Wii back in the day. But wait, we can't talk about the gaming highlights of 2023 without mentioning the adrenaline fuel experience that is Apex Legends. Respawn Entertainment continues to impress with their constant updates and innovations to the Battle Royale genre. Season 18 and 19 brought some game-changing features such as Revenant Reborn and Conduit. 
The intense gunplay, strategic teamwork and ever-evolving meta keep Apex Legends at the forefront of the battle royale scene. And there you have it folks, my top games of 2023. Whether you're a fan of platformers, action adventure, shooters or unique indie titles, this year had something for everyone. Now I'd love to hear your thoughts. What were your favourite games of 2023? Share your opinions in the comments below or feel free to join the Discord and share it there. And let's keep the gaming conversation going. Don't forget to like the video and if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe for more gaming content as well. Until next time, stay fresh.